Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am going to discuss a new topic that is Agile Development Model. Agile Development Model is started in the year of 2001 and it is invented by John and Martin. Basically, Agile Development Model is a, it is a method of creating software. It is a method of basically creating a software for creation of software. We are using the agile development model. In this, we are using adv uh, advancement and the administration approach. These two approaches are very useful for agile development model. Agile is a term that describes the approaches to software development and empathizes incremental delivery. Uh, team collaborations and the continual planning and the continual learning by using agile development model we can develop a software uh, and the, we can deliver the software deliveries in the incrementally and uh, we we are having the team collaboration by using agile development model and the continuous planning and the continuous learning or continuous improvement or continuous delivery continuous uh, deployment or everything will be done by the agile development model only the best example for the agile development model is the serum serum is the most common agile framework till now serum is the most trending framework in agile and it is the most and the most people start with uh, to, to learn or the, to develop agile development model basically people starts from the serum only serum framework agile practices on the other hand and the technique uh, techniques like uh, applied during phases of the software development life cycle in software development life cycles also we are having this so many phases that are approved in here also that is agile development model this is the architecture uh, we are comparing the both architectures of the devops and the agile it looks similar but in devops we are uh, we are dividing the phases like development phase and the operational phase but in in agile phase we are not dividing like that it is a it is a uh, life cycle process agile is a life cycle process this is a diagrammatic approach in in agile model also we are having different types of phases like plan phase design phase develop test release and feedback uh, here also like devops we are in agile also we are having different types of phases let us see the each phase one by one the first phase in the agile development model is a plan phase basically plan phase is nothing but a uh, we are gathering the user requirements and the system requirements from the client and we are planning how the software should be and the, what are the requirements should be what are the documentation and how the document should be done that everything is discussed in the plan phase agile planning involves de uh, defining the scope of work for each iteration uh, based on the priorities outlined in the product backlog product owners and stakeholders collaborate to prior, uh, prioritize user stories or tasks based on the business value and the customer's need. Basically, the plan phase or uh, the plan um, involves for the customer uh, satisfaction. The plan phase is basically here th is there for the customer satisfaction and uh, to reach that uh, customer requirements, uh, plan phase is, uh, is here. Sprint planning meeting are held to break down user stories into smaller tasks, estimate efforts and the established sprint goals and the timelines. Here we are iterations. Iterations means nothing but a dividing the big task into smaller smaller tasks is known as iterations or the sprint. In agile model, we are have we are uh, calling that iterations in the word of sprint sprint planning means breaking down the user uh, the customer is to, customer or the user or the client is telling the big requirements means we are uh, dividing the requirements into small uh, our convenient way like small small pieces or break down into smaller pieces that are uh, smaller tasks that are known as sprint basically agile agile development model involves for the sprint planning here is about planning phase. Next one is design phase. 
design phase is nothing but we are designing designing part how the according to the planning phase we are designing the we are designing in designing part uh, design activities in agile are run uh, concurrently while development while development only design phase is de design phase will be running um, it will majorly focus on the delivering of the incremental improvements and the features in agile uh, in agile development model design phase this uh, decides the decides the cross functional agile team cross functional agile team means to reach the customer uh, satisfactions or the, to reach the customer requirements to satisfy the customer uh, we are using the co uh, cross functional agile teams and uh, we are in incorporating feedbacks from the stakeholders and the end users agile team often leverage design thinking practice uh, principles to empathize with user Def, uh, define problem statements define problem statements solutions prototype designs and the validate assumptions iteratively next development phase development phase means nothing but in agile it follows the iterative approach with the team working on small incremental changes to the software to uh, to change the software or to update the software uh, everything is done in the development phase only in development phase uh, the uh, testers and the product owners team members everyone will be collaborate and the uh, and they effective they work effectively to reach the customer satisfy uh, to reach the customer requirements or the, to satisfy the customer everyone here collaborate and develop a software next continuous integration practices Uh, practices the um, practices are employed to automate the build and integrate process here we in development phase we are using the continuous integration in our, in next topic or next videos we will be discussing deeply about the ci means continuous integration this is all about develop phase and next coming to test phase test phase is nothing but a testing testing the coding part or the testing the uh, frameworks testing the pipelinings pipelines everything will be come under in the testing phase testing is an integral part of agile development which focus on early and the continuous testing throughout the software delivery life cycle testers work closely with developers to define acceptance uh, criteria test cases uh, they will create a test case and they will test the test cases automate testing where possible in this we are in this agile development model we are automate test we are doing automation testing means automatically it will be test continuous testing practices are employ are employed to automate testing process including unit test integration test regression test and the uh, user acceptance test these are all the types of tests we are uh, doing in agile development model or agile development process uh, test automation is integrated in the ci and cd pipeline ci means the continuous integration cd means continuous delivery pipeline these two topics will be in the next upcoming chapters we will discuss later about ci and cd pipelining allowing for the rapid feedback on uh, code changes and ensuring the quality and the stability of the software um basically test phase test phase will be test phase will be because of the to run the code successfully to run the software to test the software without any errors or without any bugs we are using this test test phase and the coming to the next phase is release release means nothing but after testing we are it is ready to release the software is ready to release this is known as release phase in agile devops or in agile uh, development model it releases the frequent and incremental with small batches of features or enhancement deployment to production re regularly continuous delivery practices are employed to automate the deployment process allowing for fast and reliable releases each release undergoes rigorous testing Uh, including functional performance and the security testing to ensure that it meets quality standards and goes not and do not introduce regressions regressions means nothing but repetitions deployment 
deployment pipelines are established to automate the release process from building and testing to deploy and monitoring uh, minimizing manual in interventions and the reducing the risk of errors this is all about release phase and coming to the next final phase is feedback feedback phase is nothing but a uh, after release after releasing the software to the client we are taking the feedback from the clients is known as feedback phase feedback uh, feedback phase is a loop or are integrated to the agile devops here we are having the in feedback phase we are having different types of mechanic uh, feedbacks like uh, mechanisms are employed including user surveys usability testing about and uh, about customer interviews and uh, analytics data analysis here we, in feedback we are analyzing these all things next to uh, in this in this feedback phase we are having the continuous monitoring practices also where the employees can monitor the performance of the software or the project mm -hmm. and the uses and the behavior of the software in a production allowing team to detect issues and the gather feedback in real time if you are having any real time issues while mo in monitoring phase um, we will gather everything everything regarding that issue in feedback phase this is all about feedback and coming to advantages disadvantages and applications of agile development model are first is advantages advantages means um, where we are using and how we are using that are advantages and we are having different types of advantages like fast time to market faster time to market improved collaboration higher quality software reduced risk and waste fast faster time to market means nothing but a, it is easy to it is easy to deliver and easy to collaborate in market agile development model is a user friendly and it is easy to mingle or the easy to collaborate in the market improved collaborations mean more than not only one team more than more than one team can work efficiently and every team can work individually and different types of like a coding team and the testing team monitoring team deployment team everyone can work collaboration and it is an a user friendly to use high quality software high quality software means it is giving the high high maintenance basically um, in storage purpose also usage purpose also etc reduces risk and waste by using agile development model we are having the less less risk and the wastage will be our memory storage will be less next coming to disadvantage the complexity of implementation they, to implement the agile development model it is uh, it is having some complexity to implement next dependency on the team collaboration totally it will depend on the team collaborations only next resistance to change resistance to change means it can it is uh, having some complexity to change from one form to another form and coming to the applications applications of agile development model the first application is software development to develop any software we are using the agile development next cloud computing and saas saas means nothing but a software as a service in cloud computing agile development plays a major role to develop a, to develop a saas application next e commerce and online retails e commerce and online online retails means nothing but a, like um, shopping websites and the banking sectors next coming to uh, food ordering websites or uh, basically e commerce means nothing but a, all mix all mix websites like um, shopping and the example amazon and the mintra misho next coming to food ordering swiggy zomato next um, in medical field and banking sector also we are using the agile development mode next gaming and entertainment gaming and entertainment in gaming and entertainment it is playing in virtual reality uh, 3d gaming app development application development all come under in the gaming and entertainment e-commerce and the online retail these are the topics we have discussed now that is 
agile development model this is a definition of the agile development model and the architecture of agile and the uh, phases involved in the agile development for agile development model and next coming to advantages and disadvantages and applications of agile development model i hope you have understand this video please like share and subscribe to my channel that is engineering chadu thank you